that stuff for this week's bird report. And well, the cold weather really has had an effect this week as far as what bird life has been seen around the islands with lapwing, redwing, fieldfare, golden plover, all coming into the islands. Lapwing are very distinctive in flight, very, very white underneath, big broad round wings, very bouncy, buoyant flight, very often giving the call that gives them their other name, the peewit, high pitch call. Little groups started to appear sort of end of last week, just odd one here, two there, three there, but now, well, there's little groups all over the place several groups of 40s and 50s, it's been 100 plus at least on St Mary's over the last few days, and no doubt more to come. And what they're doing is escaping all the bad weather on the mainland. Normally they come south and west a little bit, but obviously with the mainland freezing up, and this is a bird that uh, specialises in feeding on soft open, often marshy, grassy ground, they need to get away from the frost, so they've been coming down here. Same for the golden plover, although they're a little, little more robust really, they will go into slightly harder ground. And then the field fair and red wings, same idea, they need to get better weather so they can feed. Along with them is a few meadow pivots as well, but the field fair are quite fun. We don't see too many of those. Great big heavy thrush with a sort of rusty back, greyish head, and a very long dark tail, very harsh, chattery call when they fly away. Like most of these birds, they're coming out of Scandinavia in origin, so they are quite shy, they're not uh, that used to people, but uh, some days they'll uh, be that keen on feeding, they'll just let you walk right by them. Back in the last really big heavy frost and snow we had in the late 1980s, so you could see them in the park in the middle of town, lapwing in the middle of town, out on Holgate's Green. So it hasn't quite got to that stage as yet, but uh, we'll see what happens over the next few days. Elsewhere, well, the black duck that's been on Tresco a little while was seen uh, just into the new year, but hasn't been seen again since, but doesn't mean it's disappeared. It has proved to be rather elusive at times, so hopefully it's still lurking up there somewhere. Also, the longtail duck was still on the Abbey Pool just into the new year, but... Uh, no boats around so much this time of year, so uh, we're not able to check whether things are still present or not. On the sea, that flat, calm, sunny day last Saturday was ideal for looking for uh, divers and so on, and we found a, a black-throated diver. We don't see too many of those, but uh, several great northerns around as usual, and a black-throated diver, that was just off the edge of Samson. Also on the sea, the black neck grebe was still in Tresco Channel, although again, that's moving around a lot more. In the first few weeks, it was just sitting just off New Grimsby, but uh, has now been over to Briar and down by Plum Island starting to wander a little bit and on the sea just off the edge of St Martin certainly looking from St Mary's anyway it's been up to two Slavonian grebes the cousin of the black throat the black neck grebe and again a bird that we are seeing most winters now but rarely more than two or three occasionally up to five or six but two seems the winter's total at the moment other long stayers include the buzzard on Tresco the one still lurking around the north end of the island and we seem to have one spoonbill still here from the, the two that were around before Christmas certainly got one lurking around. That's usually just off the edges of uh, Samson, sometimes up into Tresco Channel. Several egrets still here, little egrets, and they've been on the, the more open beaches. Fourth Row, Fourth Cresso, Old Town Beach. We've seen them skulking along the edge, along with a few herons as well. But uh, certainly uh, the beaches have had uh, quite a lot of smaller birds feeding because it's softer ground, so the pivots are down there, meadow and rock, uh, chaffinches and uh, stone chats, black red star, chiff chaff, all sorts of things have been scooting along the edge there. Another one of the thrushes that has appeared, but not on the beaches as yet, is missile thrush. But we don't see too many here, despite being fairly widespread in the mainland. But uh, we certainly had five or six around in uh, midweek. Very bold marked thrush, big brown thing like our thrush basically, but much more blotchy marks. A very shy bird when they fly, very white under the wing, and again a harsh rattle of a call. But really a parks and gardens sort of woodland uh, bird, so silly isn't really an ideal habitat for them. But all these birds are struggling to feed, so uh, bird feeding is a, a good idea this time of year. I know a lot of you spend an awful lot of time and energy keeping your birds fed, and uh, the supplies soon run out. They seem to clear feed some of the feeders incredibly fast, but certainly a good idea to keep feeders going at the moment. Also, water is important for a lot of our birds, all our birds, really. Um, so open water without uh, it being frozen up is uh, certainly uh, a very popular thing. You get a clear bit of water at the moment. The birds will be flocking in to bathe as well as to drink. They don't mind drinking the same water. But uh, keeping the food sort of up off the ground is a good idea as well, so you don't encourage rats. Keep it all small, that way the gulls don't get in and nick it all. And uh, then you'll feed a wider range of birds. The gulls can feed on the sea and the beach, but uh, the smaller stuff tends not to. So certainly uh, bird feeding a good idea this time of year. Anyway, this is Will Wagstaff.